Hi, today we're gonna to do a quick demo of how to add promo codes to your payable Google Form. If you've never used the Payable Forms add-on for Google Forms before, go check out our other YouTube videos for how to get started uh, making any Google Form payable. This video is just designed to kind of showcase the new feature we have around promo codes. So right now I'm in a Payable Form that I set up in edit mode inside of my Google Forms. And to reopen the sidebar, I'm just going to go to add-ons, payable forms, and configure payment settings. What that will do is launch the, the sidebar open here. You'll see if you haven't gone through the getting started steps, you should go through those and then flip the form on as payable first. Then you'll get the configuration options listed here, which promo codes is a new menu option. Uh, you have the ability to set up some pretty basic promo code capabilities, but it covers 95% of most use cases out there. So um, I have created my first one here called 5 Off, and it's going to be a fixed amount for $5. And let's set up another one so we can have one called Family. Um, and it's, this one's going to be a percentage. And I'm going to make this one be 15% off. We've had other users message us about like, how could I take a deposit? Maybe somebody pays half up front. We don't really have the full capabilities to split a transaction up, but what some people have done is make like a deposit promo code with a percentage of 50% off. And then they'll fill out another form uh, to finish the payment after they've received the good. So uh, you, know, the, you have the ability to do something like that too. So now I have three promo codes. I have one called deposit, which is 50% off. I have a family promo code, which is 15 and $5 off, which is a fixed amount of $5. Okay, so let's fill out the form and do a quick test. So I'm gonna go uh, for the $100 option and hit submit. And then I'm gonna click the link to transition across to the payable form. Checkout, okay. Now, once you have set up any type of promo codes, your checkout will have a new setup here that says have a promo code. And when you do, you can click on that and that'll open a new little input for your customers to put their promo codes inside of. So we created one called, uh, we created a promo code called five off. Whoops, sorry about that. Five off. And they're not case sensitive. So you can run that and it will say applying a $5 discount. The page will quickly refresh while things recalculate and we redo uh, the order totals. So, now my order has a $5 off amount applied to it. And that all looks good. I could go through the checkout like usual. Um, you can only have one promo code at a time. So we could do another promo uh, we had code we said it was called family. So let's hit that one. And that one you can see it's applying a 15% discount. And for the $100, we calculated that as $15 and now we would owe $85. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty quick and easy to create. Uh, the other one we made was deposit. If you do mess it up, uh, you know, put it in a promo code that's not valid, it will, uh, it should let you know that that promo code does not exist. Let's see here. Let's take it some time. Doo, doo, doo. Let's refresh the page. I have a promo code. If you put in something that doesn't exist, yeah, it'll say here invalid code. So it just uh, it is checking on the server side. So there's no way for somebody to find your code unless you have it. Uh, and we'll do the last promo code, which was deposit. And that should give us 50% off uh, once it's discovered and applied. So let's do that one. Okay, so now we have a discount code called deposit, which has been applied. So just like that, you can then go through the rest of the test if you wanted to. Um, I'm gonna put this in here, 1223. Uh, one, two, three, nine, oh, two, one, oh, pay. And generally what will happen is the promo code will appear on the receipt as well. So if you as a seller are ever curious to how um, you may have only received $50 instead of $100, if you click on the link to go to the order details page, you will see the, uh, the discount and what promo code was used here between the brackets. So that's our quick version of promo codes kind of V1. Uh, I hope that's a helpful demo. And if you want to get rid of the promo codes in the future so other people don't use them, uh, so say you only wanted family to be there for a period of time, all you have to do is come back in and empty this input out. And what that will do is it'll remove it from being an option. So we can remove that. 
And as soon as you've done that, the family promo code will no longer be available for people to use. So if you wanted, you know, a limited time early sign up uh, promo code, you just have to remember to go in and delete it later on. Uh, and that is how that works. I hope that is helpful.